Joe, what do you like about Headley? Um, switch hitter. Um, a guy that's put up big numbers in the past. Um, he's been swinging the bat extremely well, and we'll put him at third base when he gets here. He won't be in the lineup today because I don't think he'll be at the ballpark till probably about 7.30 or so. He will be available off the bench, though? I would think so, yeah, unless Mentioned. there's delays with this flight, which he, is always possible. You had mentioned he'd put up big numbers in the past, but offensively he's kind of struggled a little bit lately. What leads you guys to believe that he's going to be able to turn things around over here? Well, you look at his, his last month, it's been really productive. Um, he swung the bat pretty well, and, and, you know, sometimes hitters go through months where they struggle, and we, we feel that he's in a pretty good place and coming over here. And, uh, you know, he plays an extremely big ballpark. Um, big ballparks during the course of the season playing in the West, and we think this place will help him. Mark. Joe, so despite his struggles offensively, do you look at him as a big upgrade defensively at third base as well? Well, I mean, um, he's a guy that's used to the position and understands the position. Um, I think our guys have played there um, better as of late. Um, but we'll have some consistency there, um, which I think will be good, and a consistent another switch hitter in our lineup, which will be good as well. Sweeney. Joe, is he pretty much an everyday guy for you now? I would think so, yes, yeah, Sweeney. Meredith. Joe Solarte is a guy that did a lot of good things for you guys early. Was it tough, in a sense, to see him go? Yeah, it is. Um, it's a kid that uh, really kind of burst on the scene the first two months here and was really – um, a big part of our success those first two months. Um, but he's going to get a great opportunity over there. And um, the National League game, it's a guy that can play a lot of different positions, so it will fit him well And being a switch hitter. Um, so I think the opportunity is good for him, but we'll miss his personality and uh, what he did for us here. Joe, just with the uh, lineup tonight with McCann at first and Kelly Johnson in, in right, do you, do you hold your breath a little bit with two guys as inexperienced as they are? Well, it's Kelly's played the outfield before, and I've had Mac at first, but it's just kind of given each a day. Um, you know, we're in a long stretch here, and um, no, I, I have confidence the guys will do it. Bruce. Joe, what about the commitment to continually try to get better here uh, going forward here as you fight in this stretch? Well, you know, I applaud our ownership group and the work that, are, you know, they're doing upstairs in the front office. I mean, they're trying to get us better. Um, it's the, the second move that we've made, uh, McCarthy um, has pitched well for us um, since we've acquired him, and they're trying to upgrade uh, our lineup and, and our, our defense, so I applaud them. I mean, they're giving us opportunities to win, and that's what we want. Sweeney. Joe, do you have anything new on Teixeira? No, I said it would be three or four days before we really know anything. When he, when he does get back and you're able to get him, Beltran and now Headley, switch hitters with, with some yeah. potential for power, is that – kind of what you've been searching yeah, for. Yeah, I mean, you would you would love it um, for those guys to get in a roll in the middle of the lineup and, um, you know, carry us for a while. Okay. So w would you start to use Johnson maybe in, in right field a occasionally? Little bit. Uh, a, a little bit. Is, because right now we only have three outfielders. He's played uh, mostly left field, um, but I think he's athletic enough that it, it shouldn't be a problem. And... Um, I mean, I might have to do it if we don't if we can't get Carlos out there because I can't run these guys out there every day. And, and what about at second? Is, are you still seeing Roberts as your everyday second baseman? Or yeah, and, I, and I'll use I'll use Brendan there, or I could use Wheels there when he needs a day. Dave, actually, now that you mention it, oh, um, sorry, 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 go ahead. Now that you mention it, anything new on Carlos with the elbow and possibly he played catch there. yesterday. Um, I think he'll probably play two days in a row and then take a day off, and we'll, we're trying to get him out there. You mentioned that Headley's swinging the bat better. Do you know if they, you know, he found something or if it's just coming? I haven't had a chance to talk to him. Um, it's all happened pretty quick, and he jumped on an airplane. So we'll get a chance to talk to him over the next couple of days. But um, we expect him to, to be an everyday player and a good player for us and help us out. Mark. Joe, with Phelps tomorrow, he's he's uh, actually been a pretty consistent presence in the rotation for I think his ERA is like three eight as a starter. Has has he been a big you know help in, in making up for some of these injuries and sort of goes unnoticed in how he's pitched this year? Do you think? Yeah, I, I would say that's true, and it is kind of went unnoticed. I mean, he's he's done a really good job in our starting rotation, and um, took us a little time to get him going and get his arm strength back for 
100 pitches, but he's been really consistent for us. Bruce. Joe, how important here quickly to turn the page. You still have a you know, good home stand here and yeah. a chance to make up some ground following last night's game, which I know you weren't happy about. Yeah, well, you have to. I mean, that's the game of baseball. You're going to have some real clunkers, and we had one last night. I mean, that's as, as poor as it gets. Um, but it's a new day, and that's the great thing about uh, being an everyday player. <laughs> you get to run right back out there and not have to wait four or five days.